starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shama Meet and welcome to my YouTube channel Computer Netic Zone. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about different types of computers. And let's start and discuss our topic in detail. So there are three types of computers that we have. First one is analog computers, digital computers, and the third we have is hybrid computers. So what so let's start and discuss each type in detail. The first one we have is analog computers. Analog computers are used to process and represent the continuous data and they are suitable for the condi conditions that requires data to be measured directly without converting into numbers or cores. When we talk about analog data that means com temperature, pressure, weight and voltages. So whatever the devices that measures temperature, pressure, voltages, weight, these are all analog devices. So what these computers do? They take data continuously and produce results at the same time. And when they produce results at the same time, that means these are very very speedy computers. So we have few examples like mercury, thermometer, voltmeter, barometer these are all the examples of analog computers the second we have is digital computers digital computer process the information in the form of discrete numbers or a binary codes so it operates on data including letters and symbols these are all expressed in the form of binary codes that is 0 and 1 so the digital computers they're all around two digits zero and one so by counting zero and one or by comparing zero and one and by manipulating zero and one these digital digits or digital computers can perform various processing tasks and other operations so so the operations and the processing of a digital computers is based on binary code so a typical digital computer system has four basic function functional elements. First we have input and output equipment, second main memory, third control unit and four automatic logical unit. So the main memory, control unit and automatic logic unit or ALU together make up the central processing unit. And we have few examples like microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers and supercomputers these are all examples of digital computers so let's discuss each of the example of digital computers in detail so first one we have is, is supercomputers supercomputers are the most expensive largest and the powerful digital computers they are used by the scientific and research laboratories can, can, can control and supervise hundreds of users at the same time and its processing is in TIPs that is trillions billions of instructions per second so that means supercomputers can process trillions and billions of instructions per second so you can expect and feel that how strong and biggest and powerful computers these are and they are also helpful in forecasting weather reports worldwide and the Columbia the Columbia supercomputers one of the most famous computers supercomputers is the Columbia supercomputers this is located at NASA Ames Research Center USA which is used for space research purposes second we have is mainframe computers after mainframe 
after the supercomputers, these are the most expensive, largest and the quickest computers that we have right now. They are used by the large companies, organizations and the factories and they can control and supervise hundreds of users at the same time and the processing is in BIPs that means billions of instructions per second. So these computers are also used in big hospitals, airline companies and stock exchange companies, universities as well and speed measures in nanoseconds. So this is one of the most uh, you know is, is important information and is common uh, critically question ask in various objectives in the various test in the various exams that uh, mainframe computers processing is in nanoseconds. The third type that we have of digital computers is mini computers. So mini computers they are smaller than mainframe both in size and as well as in facilities and they are also known as a mid-range computers as it is an intermediate between a micro and the mainframe. These are the smaller than the mainframe both in size and storage and speed that I have already explained and their speed is in 150 million instructions per second and they are mostly preferred by the small business organizations, colleges and other small size companies. So the next type we have is microcomputers. These are small in size and small range of computers that are introduced in early 70s. These computers are less costly and smaller in size as computer and mini computers and they are the most popular computers nowadays. So we have few examples uh, of microcomputers. First one we have is desktop computers. These are also known as a personal computers and they are mostly preferred by the home users. And why it is called desktop? Because it needs to be placed on a desk. That's why it is called desktop computers. They may also be used in at homes or in offices. Notebook computers are small in size and low in weight. So they are easy to carry around and preferred by the students and a business community to meet their assignments and accessory tasks. Laptop computers are portable computers. Due to small size and lightweight, they become popular and popular among the, among the computer users and they are mostly preferred over the desktop computers. Palm top computers are also known as a palm top. You know, it literally because it literally fits in the palm. Okay. Compared to the full-size computers, they have limited facilities, like they do not have disk drives. They do not use keyboard for input because they use stylus or a touch-sensitive screen as an input. So they have limited in facilities as compared to the other full-size computers, but they are they are you know uh, can be u for use for a multiple functions like a cell phone, fax sender, web browser and personal organizers and one of the great great example of palm tom computers are your smartphones smartphones are great examples of you know great example of palm top computers so next type we have are the hybrid computers hybrid computer computers they are a combination of a digital and analog technology hybrid computers accepts accepts analog signals converts into digital and process them in a digital form they are used in scientific application and robotics so when when you see uh, you know uh, in a hosp uh, hospitals uh, for mostly in ICUs, uh, there are various machines for the patient monitoring uh, to monitor patients' heartbeat, you know, the pulse rate, breathing, and the brain activity. So these are all hybrid computers because they're a combination of a digital and analog technology. So that's all for today. If you like this video, share it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel 
and click on the bell icon so that you can get more more videos in future thank you and have a good day